All right. Um, I have so much information. I'm just gonna. I want to get some of these sh um, short kind of videos out that really don't have much to do with anything, but I've, there's kind of interesting things I thought were. So anyway, I was looking through the list of prime numbers, and oh, let's see here. And I noticed on okay, so you go to a hundred, the hundred and eighth, hundred and seventeenth prime number is six hundred and forty-three. And the 118th prime number is 647. So, I mean, I've talked about 117. Um, so, 117 is 117. 118 is 118. But what's interesting about this is this is like the phone number in, that you use in my town. I, I, whatever it's called, the 712 is the area code. But then my town, Dunlap, is 643. And the town I used to live in that's 10 minutes away. The it is 647. So I just found that pretty interesting that the 117th prime numbers um, and then the 118th is two of the uh, the phone number things from my town and a uh, different town. And here, just to prove it, here, um, just typed in 643 Dunlop, Iowa. And here's a phone number to Dunham Hardwoods. Um, and then 647. We'll go Woodbine, Iowa which, like I said, I used to work there, and I lived there for a while. And it's about 10 minutes away. It's the next town up Highway 30, and it is 712-647. I mean, so, I don't know. That's really strange, I guess. Feels like I'm surrounded by uh, these numbers all the time, and then I look at the prime numbers, and literally it's connected to uh, two towns that I'm connected to. It's weird. And I just wanted to do a little, uh, I mean, I found a little bit more about the town that I live in. Um, I talked about a long time ago with the Erling video how it's uh, 41 degrees and 95 degrees, and I'm not even going to go into why I talked about that significant. The 95 is whatever, basically a 666. Um, it says it was incorporated in 1867, so there's your, the 67 that we've been talking about with like Bill Murray and whatnot. And, I mean, there's nothing else really in this town except for it was named after George L. Dunlap, um, and then it says Dunlop's Historic Independent Order of Odd Fellows Hall was added to the National whatever. So go figure, a Masonic Hall is the only historic like building in this town, I guess. And a while back, I did a video about the Yellow Smoke, the uh, the last chief of the Omaha Indians who was murdered in this town, and uh, the town was going to get massacred, but the Masons went out and saved the town because the the Indians new Masonic symbols. And then I scroll down just to uh, notable people. And it actually shows Charles W. Henney. I mean, so the one notable guy on Wikipedia here is this guy. And look when he's born. February 2nd, uh, 1884. 2 2 22. Give me a break. And then 84 talked about a whole bunch with Obama, whatever. All kinds of stuff with 84. November 16th, um, 31, 41, 45 days left until the end of the year is when he died. I mean, just what are the odds of that? Everything I look up and then the one guy. And then, look, he w so he had moved to Wisconsin. He was born near Dunlap, moved to Wisconsin. He was a Democrat, was represented Wisconsin's second congressional district in the 73rd US United States Congress. So 73? Uh, anyway, just like I said, a little short video of the uh, town I live in history. Uh, just found that kind of interesting that uh, it was the prime numbers or whatever. So, anyway, have a good one.